Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the Black with the Strat Time Report coming into the weekend and uh, we got what we we're looking for. So remember uh, this thing here, here's your broadening formation on the 60 and we gap through it. So remember yesterday we came up a little shy, then we hit some Fed speak to, to stop everybody out, but we're still looking to take this out, which we got. So what that does is it gives us the outside week over here. Right, so we're kind of hoping to get that rev strat to the downside. We're not getting that. So the question is, are we going to continue to be strong and have an outside month to the upside? Now, that would be some nice distance. So we'll see, because coming into the end of the week, uh, or end of any period, really, you want to see how close are you to the next two. What's the next two here? So at this point, uh, the weekly is much closer to taking out the highs. However, if you start racing back through the broadening formation, that'll get our attention. So essentially what we're doing here today right now is I'm just kind of like disseminating the gap. What that means is almost everything raced up with the futures right at the beginning. But then as you stall out here, all right, just kind of sit here, I want to see who can continues going into new highs of the day or who can take out the lows of the day. And that's kind of what we're doing. So we've been pulling back, waiting for this little corrective activity where you can see the two up two down 60 spy because that'll tell me anybody who's going to be staying up here. So here's your broadening formation on the daily, the lower low and the higher high, which is your outside week. All right. So we'll see how that goes. We've got a QQQ here and Q's coming up a little short on the outside week. We got some day left. And once again, you've heard me talk about a compound three, the outside bar. It just ran out of time. And then you come in here because that's what happened. Uh, you know, SPY and, and Q's here on the daily. Remember last week, didn't quite make the outside day, then Monday they did it, and that was it. 2-2 two, two reversal and back up. So if we go to uh, the Diamonds, and Dow Jones Diamonds, looking very similar, just running out of time for an outside week. And once again, disseminating the gap. Goes up here, comes in a little bit. Now we can see anything that's going into highs of the day right now uh, because we've had that corrective activity. So, uh, if we go to the small cappers. And small cappers went inside. Two bar inside pattern would be rev strat to the upside, just kind of drying up. And once again, running out of time on the outside week, but we'll see. Uh, if we go to like crowd strike here, so you can see that while the market backs off, it's still going, right? And it's got some distance to be three on the week and three on the month. And back and forth we go, you can see these th four months stuck inside of here so expect the chop back and forth and you got it after the nice 2-2 reversal daily yesterday and now the continuation in there we had z scaler on the gapper list how are they doing now and z scaler trying to take the 60 to the upside once again you look at those futures now you're going to give me that outside month uh but you look at those futures etfs and you can see when they back off now the new 60 and firm up you can see all these things that stayed right near the highs. Z scaler goes into the highs. You go to tandem. And tandem, remember, had that nice day yesterday. And there's your inside 60 to the upside. It's still going. Uh, if we go to ISEE, -E, it's trying to still run from yesterday's inside day to the upside. Now would be RevStrat 60 upside here. One, two, two over 1937 if we can get back up over there uh if we go to uh z lab i think this has got some other bar issues we'll see yeah just had a nice opening run now two inside inside 60s but uh, this is a good example people ask me like what's a kicking pattern this is a kicker when you have like 80 percent of a candle red and then it gaps green anybody who was short this thing could stay short overnight but once it gaps into here boom gone now you're now you're meeting up with real buyers and that's when you have that spike like that. So anyway, that's what that is. If you go to net. And net, trying to take an inside 60 to the upside right now. All right. So that's kind of what we're looking for. These guys are staying firm because most things are too up. All right. We, we know that. You got slob. Also going to the highs right now. Slob. And slob, once again, running out of week to be a, to be an outside week. But we'll see. How that goes all right keeping an eye on all these things like i said we're still disseminating a lot of this stuff um, off the opening so on the downside then we had stuff with plce and plce inside day to the downside you do have uh, the firm futures but uh, trying to stay down on that month you see you spiked them out here and then the hopes is you come all the way back through here uh, on the weekly but we'll see uh, if we go to enph we know the solars have been strong 
But then today, 2-2 reversal back down in ENPH. So on the weekly, stopped everybody out and went into the highs, and we call that exhaustion risk, right? This is what I mean by exhaustion risk. Then if you get a 2-2 reversal, profit takey time, and everybody took profits at the same time, and now it's stuck on the 60, we'll see. Uh, if we go to CSIQ, I think they were hurting a little bit here too in the solars. Yep, CSIQ also having some problems. Uh, if you go to IMCR, and IMCR, ooh, they got them good in here. Big outside, big outside day, but uh, you know, not kind of stuck in here. We'll see. Gives you the outside month. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, a lot of disseminating the gap here. We go to SPY. Now firming up on the new 60 STX. Going into the highs of the day. Uh, just keeping an eye on my new high list here just to see who it is. Trip Advisor. What are you doing here, buddy? Trip Advisor going to the new highs, and that's a 2 2 reversal on the week. So most things are two up on the day. And so if, because we went into recent highs, you get this little bit of a stall out, but uh, for the most part, tough to turn this around uh, without taking out any significant lows. So uh, I wouldn't be shorting anything that didn't take out the morning lows, that's for sure. Uh, and keep watching for these things and go that stay firm when the market backs off. This is what you'll hear me say, corrective activity, if we get on to 15. So it just, it's not getting killed, it just comes in a little bit, you see? And now it's trying to go too, too back up on the 15, or as well it should, um, because most things are too up, and that usually holds. So uh, we'll take a look, like, you know, if, if we're really gonna collapse, we'd have to take out the opening, right? And if we're gonna get a three out of these days, but we're not nowhere near doing that as, as of right now. But, uh, you know, the last two Fridays have been outside days, you know, <laughs> and this has been real nice here and almost an outside day, I mean, and uh, so uh, we'll see. Oops, Friday, here's, there we go, and there, right? And those are the last two Fridays, but now Friday, this little recovery, once again, exhaustion risk. Question is, you going to be strong enough to take that out? We're going to find out. 2-2 two -two reversal on the 15 or right now, going, taking them back up. Crowd strike into the highs as I speak, so... Uh, yeah, keep focused on things that can stay strong even when the market backs off a little bit. Right, that's going to do it for today. Hope everybody had a great week and has an even better weekend. I'm Rob Smith of Smith of Black, Strat Time Report.